Hey guys, <clears throat> here we are. I uh, decided to put down some nutrients and um, we rented uh, some John Deere's. Um, for the day for our primary tillage. Um, hopefully they will be able to handle our 2730. Um, so we have about 50 two thousand dollars in rental for the day here well 15 hours um, oh yeah I need to sell that um, we're selling our old Draper in anticipation for a new Mac Don next season seven on the Oxbow merger um, merging uh, field 20 right now we have our t450 putting down nutrients on 37 and then we're gonna have two of these monsters start our primary tillage uh, we have three days to get it done, so uh, I'm pretty confident we'll be able to, to do that no problem. So, uh, pretty sharp looking rigs right now. And then we'll just go ahead and get set up uh, 19 because that's the closest field that's ready right now. Uh, we got our vehicle splines back on so we have vehicles I was gonna go with uh, like a 9R 9RX but uh, figured that uh, 9RT would be just as fine A massive chisel plow. Four fifty needs to be refilled. to adjust our discs. Let's so go ahead and lower that whole unit down. And then um, bring up our course play here. start northeast go west we'll do okay so then we'll make this 16 because we're going to be running two of them um, then we're going to do vehicle offset um, this guy is going to go two meters on the Left. Activate it. Oh, oops. I want him to do headlands last. Okay. 
then we will save this as 1927.3 doubles. That guy going again then. Before I get too carried away, I want to sell this quick so we have a little bit of money. I'm going to have to refill the... Yes. Sharp looking rig right there. Get this guy ready. So this is the uh, the largest chisel plow John Deere makes and I'm pretty sure it's the largest chisel plow anyone makes. It's completely massive. It's like 17 tons. This guy was two left. This guy is going to be two right. We have to go find trucks there So hopefully it only takes us like a day or two to get our two, it'll probably take us two days, but um, two full long days. I, I also, I'm going to be leasing um, 8, 9, 16, 36, and 35, so that whole bottom right this next season, so... gonna have a lot of tillage to do over there and then once we're done with our primary tillage I'm gonna like reassess the uh, nutrients and then uh, probably broadcast some more and then use my 2623 as kind of a field prep seed bed prep tool to incorporate you know like lime and stuff like that so it'll take those guys probably like an hour and a half to uh, chisel plow Meanwhile, I want to figure out where where I left off here. Somewhere, like right around here.
somewhere. Right around here. So we got a little T. Oh yeah, I forgot. This course, for whatever reason, is... Oh, why is my... supposed to be It's always a rough start at the beginning. Yeah, this guy's gonna hit this at like full speed here. I think this should be correct now. Things just eating up corn stalks. that was the only hiccup. Looks a little bit more impressive than the 2720, I do have to admit.
So I imagine they should be covering close to 150. I'm actually, I don't even know how many acres these guys are going to be covering an hour. So my 450 finished work, now he has to go ahead and refill and put down PK. So we'll fill this guy up again. And then we'll go ahead and broadcast this, and then hopefully the nine R nine RTs will move on to this field when they're done with nineteen. Um, I still have to uh, broadcast lime on this field, I believe. And I moved these roads around up here, so my splines, I, I haven't changed my splines. I think the vehicle splines are a little bit off. You can see this guy is kind of in the middle of the road flying here, so I changed the splines. See that guy's just floating around. So the yield on this field was uh, pretty good. Um, soybean, this I actually spent a lot of money on soybeans, like nutrients and land lease. So my actual yield per acre was only about a thousand dollars an acre. Is kind of what. I came out, which is great and everything, but my my um, the sunflowers were over two thousand an acre profit. So it's kind of a letdown. And we got these guys from bailing. All our T7s merging. Just so we could get all this out, get some money, get some nutrients on it, and uh, uh, chisel plow this up while we have the, all the equipment rented. I have course play run in the merger and it's working pretty decent. Uh, just, you know, 10 meter working with, with like a half a meter offset and uh, seems to be working pretty well. It's making some nice tight wind rows without, without moving the wind row too much. Um, should really have been uh, 11 meter working with, but you know, this works just, just as good. Hasn't done the headlands yet. Yeah, 
that's pretty much all we're doing today. Uh, I got my nutrient prescriptions all wrote up. Uh, I did that last night after we finished to harvest. Uh, there's no great demands or anything um, for a while. Uh, so, basically just mowing, uh, merging and bailing this alfalfa and then putting down nutrients and chisel plowing. So we have three days to get all that done, which I imagine shouldn't be any kind of an issue. And then next week we'll probably put down some more nutrients and use our disc and plant. Change the bale textures too so they look a little bit nicer. So hopefully we get another 129 bales out of this, 130 bales. First cut we got like 121, last cut we got 129. So hopefully we're right up around there as well. This crop, we got about four cuts off of it, and it's starting to get kind of weedy and stuff. Because we're not really spraying it for weeds. Hopefully that T7's in front of us away, so uh, we're moving a little bit faster than that guy. Uh, see in the top left what everyone's doing. John Deere's are plowing, T9's broadcasting, T7 is swathing, and we're over here bailing I hope to one day make that big John Deere square baler just because it looks so impressive but when you actually look at all the detail on that it's kind of like and for the functions of a baler, it's like so much work to go into modeling it and half the time I'm not even looking at the baler when I'm using it, you know. But this New Holland, um, I do like the the, ba the balers, you know, there's nothing wrong with Giants equipment. Giants makes really good models. I mean, there's they don't put the detail in the model, they put the detail in with the... Uh, stylist and pad and like paint it on in Photoshop which is you know that's great that's how you get these details like they do it a lot better than I can ever do because I tried doing it on uh, one of my land roller and it was just like an epic fail with a mouse Anyways, finally had a chance to play this game a little bit, um, and uh, it takes a long time to upload these videos, so like two, three, four days after I record them, they end up getting uploaded, because you know, they're you know, 10, 12 plus gig videos, you know, at this 1080p quality original resolution, so it takes a long time to upload but 
still make them for you guys. Pretty much any time I'm uploading a video, it pretty much destroys my internet, so I can't do anything uh, with the internet. I can't go on my HIPAA server to do like patient records and stuff like that. I can't do anything, so pretty much limited to uh, uploading at, at uh, during the night. And sometimes I like my router gets like messed up or something just because it's moving so much data or I don't know what it is but it loses connection so believe it or not it's a bit of a pain in the ass to upload these videos I wonder how f uh, I can see a T7 pretty foggy morning I wasn't expecting this foggy of a morning but um, our our corn was below below what we projected uh, just because of field two something happened with the nitrogen and you know three quarters of that field where that field had, three quarters of that field had zero nitrogen so I don't know how that happened but we're gonna have to do kind of like uh, variable rate nitrogen on the section using that uh, nutrient map um, so that one's gonna take a little bit of uh, need to pay attention when I'm putting down my nitrogen on that and then the rest of the field will probably just do MPK but yeah that that yield on that took it was only about hundred and fifty eight bushel an acre the only reason why it was 158 is uh oh someone's <laughs> this guy doesn't have enough power to get it up the hills guys that's hilarious uh, then he engaged the differential that's how hard this thing is to pull um, I have the field speed on this guy set to 14 and the uh, actual speed of this, you can pull this up to 12 miles an hour. So that's just goes to show you how, how hard of a implement this thing is to pull. He's at nine miles an hour right now. Oh, yeah, now he's up to like 11. see this guy turn yeah it's never good when you're starting at an incline like this That guy handled it pretty well. That guy's down there. So been a while since I've actually used John Deere. Um, John Deere tractors. But I figured that since we're going with the 2730 that we might as well uh, keep it uh, color coded.
So I'll probably end the video here, and thanks for watching.